Welcome National Wildlife Refuge. It is August 2nd, 2013. I am on a new trail. It's called the Otter Trail. It's got, called this because this is where a lot of otters go between the swampland over here and just on the other side of these trees literally is the South Fork of the Patoka River. So there's a lot of otter trails between here and there. A lot of evidence of beaver, beavers as well. So, new trail. Supposed to be a little over a mile-ish, two miles, something like that, I don't know for sure the details. So anyway, we'll let you know how it goes. some more uh, bald cypress down in southern Indiana I was telling you about. And right next to it in the water is some catness or arrowhead plant which is edible. Don't know how good it is. It's edible. I can tell you cattail is pretty good. It tastes like a cucumber. But I've never tried the catness. So like all good things the trail kind of comes to this road here. And I've scouted this trail on overhead so I know which way to go. But it just, there's no signs or anything telling you which way to go to continue the trail. You follow this county road for a little ways, and the trail should shoot back off to the north. Should. I know the trailhead on the other end, because this is a loop trailhead on the other end is just up from where I parked the car and you take another county road back to the parking area but the view is just absolutely amazing if you like or are interested in any of the bottom land stuff just a different diversity and it's got a lot of different plants, wildlife, it just it's just neat in itself. I like mountains, but I'm enjoying this as well.
So I'm back on the road again. I have been for a little while. The trail comes out up there just at that curve area. And everything off, as you're looking at the video right now, everything off to your right is part of the Patoka National Wildlife Refuge. Now, that kind of changes off to the left. It is leased to the Patoka Wildlife Refuge, but it is actually owned by the Sycamore Land Trust. And it is closed to the public right now, but I was talking to the president of the Friends Group, and they are hoping to be able to open this up to public use, limited public use, uh, later on this month. So, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing and hoping that they do. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what's back there. I know there's several lakes and marshes, but look forward to it.